Hey, I'm Davina McCall and I've teamed up with Waitrose and Partners. They've started this thing called Feel Good Friday, which I really like the idea of. And Feel Good Friday just sounds right, doesn't it? So today, I'm gonna cook you a chicken curry. It's one pot, what's not to love. Lots of kind of swap-ins or swap-outs, whatever you've got in your cupboard. And it's healthy too. Win, 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 win. Okay, so here's the ingredients. We want one tablespoon of um, coconut oil or vegetable oil, one onion, finely sliced, a couple of garlic cloves, I'm gonna um, finely chop those in a second, mild curry powder, unless your family loves spicy, ground almonds, got 50 grams of those. I've got 600 grams of um, boneless chicken. I've got 300 ml of chicken stock. This is butternut squash. Um, a sort of handful um, of green beans I've got here. A bit of Greek yogurt. And then we're gonna serve it with some coriander and some lime wedges. And I also have a very important cup of tea. So let's crack on. And I'm just gonna top and tail the beans. I put the beans in because I like the green, but you can do a swap with anything. And then I'm gonna finally chop up my garlic. This is where I get embarrassed that I can't chop like chefs can. And I have chefs just kind of go like I'm putting it on the hot one to start, and just so I can melt the coconut oil. And we're putting in one tablespoon. So we want to heat that up. It melts very quickly. It's got a lovely, lovely smell to it. And then I'm going to move it on the slightly slower. So I don't want to burn my onions. Then we're going to add the um, garlic. You want to cook this basically until the onion goes a bit translucent. Slurp my tea while we're waiting. I'm a big, big fan of one pot cooking, less washing. Although I've put all the ingredients like a proper TV program um, into individual bowls, so I, I wanted to look professional. This is looking really nice now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in the uh, curry powder and 50 grams of almonds, and then. Once that's absorbed the coconut and the onions, you can then add the um, chicken. Give it a good coating in the paste. Just stir that around for a couple of minutes. You want to add the chicken stock and the bay leaves, the diced butternut squash. Give it a stir around and let that cook for 10 minutes or so. Just while that's cooking, I just thought I'd um, have a quick chat with you because this week's about well-being. Cooking food and good food um, really keeps me going. And I plan out my meals every single day. But most importantly, look after you. So after about 10 minutes of simmering, you want to uh, take your uh, handful of green beans and you want to just plop them in. Cover that up for another five minutes just so they're al dente, you know, like it's still a little bit crunchy. So what you want to do then um, is take the lid off and put in the uh, Greek yogurt, basically to give it that lovely creamy, creamy feeling. Give it a stir and then I'm gonna leave the um, lid off for a bit to let it thicken up a little bit. I use um, the two minute pack of rice, you can get it at Waitrose. It is the most amazing life hack. So I love these bowls. These are from John Lewis and Partners actually. There we go. There you have it. I've got a splurge there. I'm gonna show you this way around. But let me know how you go with this and send me a message, send me a tweet, uh, send me pictures. I love it. Okay, bye.